And now let's proceed to our next topic, which is the use of checkbox control. The checkbox control allows the user to set true or false or yes or no type options. The user could select or deselect it. When a checkbox is selected, it has the value true. And when it is cleared, it holds the value false. Now let's go to our specific examples. Let's type Visual Studio to open our IDE. And select create a new project. And for the language, select Visual Basic and Windows Forms application. Now we set a project name. Let's say um, checkbox demo activity. Okay, so make sure you know where you store your project and click create. Okay, so what we're going to do is we create a simple program that we can make use of checkboxes. So let's resize the form and name it, say, FRM checkbox activity. Okay, and for the text, let's name it as checkbox demo activity. Okay, so let me set the back color into into button face. Okay, so let's use a label. Let's say we're going to make or a simple program for an ice cream shop. Let's rename it to leave bell title and font size let's make it larger in 15 and the text is ice cream shop oops Okay, and another label and a text box. Label and text box. Okay, so let's name it as label ice cream and the text is ice cream. And for this text box. Let's name this as txt ice cream. And let's resize font size 12. Okay. Now let's use text box. I mean let's use check boxes. We need like Two checkboxes. Okay, so rename this checkbox one into CHK, that's the Hungarian notation for checkbox. CHK, let's say sprinkles. And this one is CHK um, chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Okay, and rename this into sprinkles. Let's say the sprinkles cost is 20. And for the chocolate chips, that's 30. And let's also put these into a group box ok 
Okay, so if you if you drag the group box, whatever's inside it would also be dragged along with it. Okay, so let's resize the font. Let's resize it into twelve. Okay, so that it would be visible. A lot more visible. Okay. So let's rename the group label into add-ons add-ons or toppings whichever you like and here we need um total label total and for the text let's say label or just total okay let's change the back color of the group box into something sweet mm -mm. Mm, no 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 salmon this is too far we can adjust it just the right distance Okay. Move them all. Okay. So what we're trying to do here is that we set a price for the ice cream. Let's say the ice cream costs twenty. Okay, or twenty pesos or twenty dollars. It depends on how you interpret it. Okay, and let's set this text box into disabled because we're not going to change the cost of the ice cream anymore. So double click the form and in form load, let's set txt ice cream dot text, no, 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 dot enabled is equal to false. Okay, so you can edit. The data inside the ice cream text box. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, this text box is already disabled. Okay, so now let's code for the check boxes. Okay, so what we wanted to show here is that if I select sprinkles 20 will be added to the cost of the ice cream so this makes so this will become 40 and if i add or if i check chocolate chips then 30 will also be added to the total which is if i check sprinkles that's 20 plus 20 that's already 40 plus 30 that makes it 70. okay So double click this checkbox and let's declare variables first. Let's say dim um, ice cream as double. Okay, let's set it to 20. And dim total as also double. Okay, so let's make use of our variable. If the checkbox sprinkles is checked, okay, so if it is true, what happens? Now, again, we wanted to add the value which is 20 or the cost of sprinkles which is 20 from the cost of the ice cream which is also 20 and we expect 40 to be the total here okay so let's say total using this variable plus equals the cost of the sprinkles which is 20 okay 
So what do we mean by uh, this line of code, which is total plus equal 20? Okay, so we declared a variable total. Okay, so which we expect it as the holder of the value when we clicked. Okay, the checkbox sprinkles plus the ice cream, which is which the cost is 20. Okay, so let's say text total dot text okay which is represented by this checkbox now we haven't renamed it yet txt total txt total dot text is equal to the value of total here plus the value of ice cream which is 20 okay let's try to run this okay so if I select sprinkles now we get 40 because that's the cost of the ice cream which is 20 plus the add-ons which is 20 also okay now if i select this checkbox nothing happens yet because we haven't coded it yet okay so now let me explain what happens in this line of code what we used is an addition assignment operator now the addition assignment operator plus equals adds the value of the right operand to a variable and assigns the result to the variable. The types of the two operands determine the behavior of the addition assignment operator. Okay, so what it exactly means is that if we have the operator x plus equal to y, it also means the same as saying x is equal to x plus y. Now, if we have x as 20 and y as 30, and using this operator, we have x is equal to 20 plus 30. Okay, now the result is stored in this variable. So the next time it will be added, we have x as 50 plus y, which is 30. Now the result is again stored in the variable x. Also, it's the same which happens to our example here. Now we have the total, which is whatever is the result is already as of now, plus equals to 20, which is the cost of sprinkles. Now if we add 30 to it, it will just be added to total. Okay, so now let's code for the chocolate chips. We just have to copy all of it and paste it in chocolate chips and change this into choco chips, which is the name of this checkbox. Okay, and that's plus 30. Okay, so let's say sprinkles, 20 plus 20 is 40, plus chocolate chips, so now why is it 50? Because we assume that that's 30 plus 20 is 50. Now what happens now is that it didn't add 20, which is the cost of the sprinkles here. Okay, so what we need to do is that we also need to add these lines of codes, the chocolate chips that checked under checkbox sprinkles that check changed. Okay, and we also need to add sprinkles that checked into this checkbox chocolate chips. And let's check if it works. 
Oops. Um, chocolate chips. We need sprinkles and chocolate chips. And start. Okay, so that's 20 plus 20, that's 40, plus 30, that's 70. If we remove this, okay, so it will just add ice cream plus sprinkles. And if we uncheck this, okay, it will just result to the cost of the ice cream. Now, what we wanted is to format this into currency. And just like what we discussed before, just type the function format currency. And then close it in a parenthesis and also here. And let's check. Okay, 20 plus 20, that's 40, and that's 70. Remove sprinkles, that's 30 plus 20 is 50. Okay, so that's all for today and thank you for watching this video see you in the next lesson